Hello, I'm Dan Neckar with the Pointer Student Newspaper, and we are here today with Mason Ullmans. He is the station manager here at 90 FM, and they are uh, just one day away from the 42nd Trivia Contest, and everyone around here is real excited, so we're here to uh, ask him some questions and learn a little bit more about the station and the contest. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. What are uh, some of your duties and responsibilities during trivia as a station manager? Um, throughout the entire weekend, I'm pretty much the guy um, on call. Uh, if anything were to go wrong, we need someone to answer phones, or you know, someone gets sick and we got to fill in some kind of last minute shift. I'd be priority number one to get a hold of, other than Oz. Um, and that's kind of my job throughout the entire weekend, just kind of monitoring every single scenario. Um, how's the prod team doing with uh, trivia focuses? How's the news team doing? Are DJs catching up? Are they behind? Just kind of monitoring every level uh, throughout the entire weekend is kind of mostly my job. And then I'll let my staff kind of run their departments just like we've done all year. Okay. Uh, how does this trivia contest help uh, enrich the community of Stevens Point? Well, I think one thing that's definitely unique about trivia is how it almost is a community entity in itself. Um, it's kind of the returning of home of sorts for a lot of people from the Point area. Perfect example earlier this week, I ran into my eighth grade. Um, I ran into my eighth grade teacher who taught me 130 miles away from this town, but he makes the trip back here every single year uh, just for trivia. And uh, I think the community. You know, I don't think any one person can point to why this contest is unique to them because every single answer is going to be different. Um, you can have some of the biggest players be, I love the rush. You know, some of the smaller players may be, I love the camaraderie that we have every single year. You get to come back and see these 30, 40 people that just change your life year after year. Um, and so I don't think there's any one reason why this contest is so important to the city, but a collection of reasons from everyone because everyone has a perspective. Okay. In terms of what uh, the impact it has on the city, what do you see in terms of how it impacts businesses and stores and restaurants uh, around the area? Well, I think, um, you know, restaurants, hotels, you know, obviously there's the uh, business of people coming back into town um, and, you know, making the trek every year. Actual numbers, I'm not quite sure, but I know there's a huge financial impact on the town throughout the weekend. Um, and not just people spending money, you know, on food or anything like that, but, uh, you know, the nightlife, quote unquote, you know, downtown's always crazy during trivia. Um, people are always running around picking up soda, snacks, uh, gas stations, grocery stores, everything, just f food, soda, flying off the shelves like crazy. Um, yeah, the exact numbers I'm not quite sure, but it's kind of organized chaos throughout this town um, throughout the weekend. And um, anyone who's new to the experience is definitely going to be a little shell shocked, but they're definitely going to be in awe when the weekend's done. Um, now, on the flip side, how does trivia help the university and 90FM as a station? Well, I think trivia definitely puts Stevens Point, the town, on the map. Um, you know, being the world's largest trivia contest, we definitely get recognized. You know, whether you know it's a Jeopardy question or Ken Jennings coming here to kind of figure out what this contest is about. Um, it definitely puts 90FM and it puts UW Stevens Point on the map. Um, but trivia is something that 90FM does. It's not who we are. Uh, we don't let it overtake our lives because we're really proud of the fact that we're an alternative radio station that happens to host the world's largest trivia contest every April. And we really take pride in that. Um, there aren't too many stations, especially in the Midwest, that play alternative music. So that's always priority number one. And then, obviously, second semester, we're always getting ready for trivia. But uh, I'd say more than anything, it it allows us to kind of spread the word about how great our radio station is because people become interested in one topic and so we want to show them the entire station and the kind of program, the kind of awesome programming that we have. Mm -hmm. um, as for the contest, is there anything new this year? Um, nothing too new other than, you know, the theme changes every year, which of course then we always have uh, new commercials, um, you know, new uh, public announcements, uh, which ch changes every year, but um, this year we definitely had kind of an interesting theme to work with with I Love Lucy. Our pro team, or our production team, excuse me, uh, really embraced it. They definitely did their research in Lucy um, because obviously that's a little strange to us. Not everyone grew up, uh, especially our age, the, not the everyone grew up watching I Love Lucy. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think our production team did a fantastic job of 
I think our production team did a fantastic job of kind of researching the movie, or not the movie, the shows, and uh, coming up with some great material for the commercials. Okay. For any students watching this, um, how can students start to get involved with 90FM, the station? Um, every month we have, the first step I think would be uh, every month we have a general staff meeting. Usually, or this semester, it's the first Wednesday of every month. Um, we come, we welcome anyone who's new, we definitely introduce them to the 10 paid executive staff members because those are the people they need to be working with. And uh, that's definitely kind of step one. Um, beyond that, once you get your foot in the door, you can work with our production team, um, you can work with our news team, promotions, music reviewers, and uh, there's a lot of different areas that you can help out with 90, which makes it really unique because um, of the 10 executive staff members we have, only four of them are comm majors, which I don't think a lot of people know about. We are really diverse in the kind of type of students that we have here, um, anywhere from natural resources to biology. Um, you know, any kind of science to have that kind of mixture with communication students is really awesome and it's uh, definitely working out. Um, I don't think you can really take anything away from, the, from 90 because of the diversity that we do have. Okay, I want to thank you Mason and remember if you want to find out more about trivia you can go to www.90fm.org and uh, you can always stay tuned to the Pointer Student Newspaper and our website for the most recent updates on campus events.